What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with an Android feature review and one that is actually kind of annoying for me. So one of the features of Android that I have not liked in the past couple of years is the heads up display pop up notification style of receiving notifications. So when you get a text message or email or Teams message, a new YouTube recommendation or anything like that, you'll get a pop up notification um, summarizing what that notification is about. Now for me, those are okay, but oftentimes when I get those messages, I'm either watching a video, reading an article, or interacting with, like I'll, I'll be interacting in one text message app and I'll get a notification in, or for another note of, another um, messaging app. And to me, that's actually super distracting. Um, up until a few years ago, that there was actually, I believe, a toggle for that. Um, and I think there's a toggle in custom ROMs for that, or you could install an Android toolbox up until a couple of years ago to uh, manually disable that. So I was good. And then on that front, so it was never an annoyance, but sometime between Android 10 and 11 and definitely into Android 12, it was hard to <clears throat> do a mass disable to turn off heads up displays. So I learned to live with it um, to the point where I recently got really annoyed with the number of um, heads up notifications I was getting. So I'd be swiping away, swiping away. They'd keep coming. Um, and then as a side note, I don't know why in Teams, if you read on the desktop, it does not mark it as red on mobile. But if you read something on mobile, it marks it as red on the desktop. So for me in general, I've wanted a way to turn off heads up to um, notifications or those pop-up notifications. So I decided to poke around finally in the app info settings of various apps. And apparently there is a toggle for turning off the banner. So I've already done that in a number of apps. So, you know, in uh, Teams and uh, like on my home screen here on Teams and Gmail, uh, WhatsApp, Voice, all of those. I've turned off the uh, banner, but I still get the um, audible notification when my ringer's on, and I also get, um, still see the notification in my notification drawer, which is what I want. So I see that there's a notification. Um, I watch what vibrates when I get a text message. So I kind of have a couple of different things to get notified as far as new messages. So now when I'm reading an article or watching a video or playing a game, I don't have to worry about those pop-up notifications. So what I'm going to do is show you how to actually do that in another app. So what the one that I have not disabled is for photos. So photos is actually the least annoying of them because there's usually very few as far it's usually just the this day in history or your memories and things like that. But the point will be the same to, across your device or across your um, settings. Now, the next screen may look a little bit different. So I'm using actually Square Home Launcher. So uh, when I do that long pressing um, pops up the um, shortcuts that are tied to the app. So I'm going to push back and now on this. App, so when you long press on your um, app icon, what you're going to do is hit the app info screen or if you just have that letter I, you'll touch that. Then you're going to go into manage notifications and you'll see um, a couple of screens like an outline of phone. One is for lock screen, one is for banner. So if you want notifications, but not on your lock screen, then you can disable that. But in this case, I don't want to see the banner. So I'm going to hit the check mark. So now anytime I get a photos notification, I'll get the little icon in my um, app drawer or my notification drawer, but I will not get a pop up. So um, if my phone is on silent I'm, and I'm reading an article or I'm watching a video, I'm not going to get notified until I um, like it, well, if I'm reading an article, I'll see the notification. If I'm watching a video, I'm not going to get interrupted with a um, pop up notification. And that goes for the same thing in any other app that you're uh, that you have installed. So, for example, um, I think Netflix is also the same as photos where you don't have too many notifications. They'll every so often they'll pop up a recommendation but I'm going to disable the banner so I get notified, but not with a heads up display. Um, and so really the bulk of them, um, I've, 
um, already disabled. Um, so, ex you know, for example, in voice and WhatsApp, I did Teams, um, this dating app I'm in, uh, they have a lot of different um, types of notifications. So, you know, new uh, chats, uh, recommendations, someone viewed my profile and all of that sort of stuff. So I turn off the banner because I don't, I'm on the side because I want to get notified, but I don't need it um, providing me a pop-up every time someone, you know, visits my profile, someone, they're recommending stuff, someone sends a chat message because it actually gets super annoying and distracting. So turning it off makes it that much more manageable. So that's all there is for that. Um, I just wanted to get that out there. I didn't see too much as far as what ways to disable those pop-up notifications. So um, I thought I would give this quick update as far as that goes. Um, I think Google's um, search app is actually probably the one that is better about it where it does have the banner option but in general I don't get a pop-up notification from the Google app which is surprising like they wouldn't have that going on for their own app but I actually welcome not having to see the pop-up but still getting the notification so with that being said that's all there is for this review so if you have any questions comments feedback or something anything like that you can comment on this um post on or this video on youtube at youtube.com slash patel and zero one and um like i said in the beginning it might look a little bit different on your phone uh depending on the model i'm using a one plus nine pro on android 12 um so if you're on android 11 it's probably going to look a little bit different or it may not even be there at all if you're on android 12 but on a pixel 6 or a galaxy s 22 then um, everything will be in a slightly different place. Um, even, um, I don't want to force stop, but even in Google TV, I don't think they're, they don't have very many heads up notifications, so I don't have to worry about that. But now that I've discovered this, I'm, anytime I see a heads up display or a heads up notification now, I'm going to know that I can, I'm going to go in and check the settings to see if I can turn off that banner, but it makes for that much better of an experience. And when I'm watching a video, I'm not distracted by um, notifications popping up, even though I'll see the icon, it's easier to put that in the back of my mind than getting distracted now with an overlay um, that, you know, when you're in landscape mode blocks can block up to half your screen. So that's all there is for this review. So thanks for tuning in. And like I say, if you have any questions or anything like that, you can comment on this post at youtube.com slash Patel and zero one. So thanks for tuning into this quick Android feature. And until next time.